Alright guys, welcome back to another video in Cooper Space program. This is Designs of the Week episode 18 and we're going to start off with Brand Adapter Craft Mark 2. Alright, so here it is. It's a very nice, cool, heavy looking design. I've had quite a few problems with it, but I hope it actually works. Because I just added a few winglets and stuff. So, what you do is uh, go to full throttle and your jet engines will activate first. And on the action groups, I actually programmed it for number one. If you press number one, that will turn on and off the aerospike rockets. Number two will turn on and off the turbojet engines there. So what you want to do is turn, press one to, act to activate them. Because you need to gain a lot of speed in order to lift up this heavy aircraft or rocket. And here we go. Lift. And perfect. I actually recorded this before, but this design kept on failing, so I'm redoing the recording. If you're wondering why I have uh, smoggy bays on the wings there, that's just for insurance to make sure that in case this ship turns to the left too much, the smoggy bay will be there to make sure everything gets stabilized. And so far, this is a very, very balanced out. Before when I was testing it, it was flying horribly. And I might I might want to throttle down because of these engines are overheating. And we do have a parachute. If you if you do use the parachute, things will disconnect and smash to pieces. So beware. Um uh, and out, another update, I'm actually playing Spore because I already have that on my computer, so I thought, yeah, might as well record Spore. I'm really looking forward to it. Should be cool. Minecraft 1.5 hasn't came out yet, so I'm just waiting on that. Sins of Soul Empire, I uh, might have to wait to get some time to do that because in two weeks' time I have my final exams and stuff from TAFE, and there's a lot of work to be done. So, <laughs> so let's try and land it. If our landing is a failure, then we can just use the parachute. Space bar once. Yeah. It's a good glider, really. <laughs> Pretty good. Keeps on lifting up by itself. That's a good thing. Put the nose down. S A S. Advanced. Alright, almost there. Almost the uh, Throttle down. Put the nose up. Throttle off. There we go. Turn the brakes on. Parachute. That just disconnected and disappeared. And it smashes the PCS. I did not expect that actually. Nope, did not. Alright, um that was why are they why are they toppling? What? Oh looks what look what the small gee bay does. It's pretty cool. Wait, G? Oh that doesn't do anything. I didn't think of this. KSP. Who knows about... I don't understand this game sometimes. <laughs> anyway, uh, next design. Alright, now this is called Mini Ion SS Tom 1. Did I actually name that? Okay, there's a problem with the name. Maybe I wrote it incorrectly. Whatever. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so... When you start this up, the iron engines will turn on. This is an SSTO, which is a single stage orbiter. And what you want to do is press the number one on the keyboard to turn that off. Otherwise, the fuel will waste. And this is a very light, very light aircraft. It's like the lightest, most convenient one in the game. That is an SSTO. Let's just see how high I can get it. Uh, the only problem is this is a bit wobbly. Do you see that? How the iron engine stuff here is like wobbling. I don't know. It's as if it's wobbling with the jet engine. It's dangerous. And also I have programmed action groups so that if you press number one, no number two, these solar arrays will extend and retract. That's good. I also have some bonus features here. <laughs> So we have the thermo thermometer, if you press toggle, 
that will tell you the temperature so it's getting colder as we go up that's a good sign this tells you the gravity so 9.75 meters per second uh, I don't know what that is barometer oh I've heard of that accelerator 99 G G G G G and we also have lights as well so lights on and then lights off we also have that uh, little ram air intake placement here we have several ram air intakes placed on the same spot yeah I did test this out once and it sort of the front part lifted up and the whole thing started twirling let's point the nose down to make sure we catch on to some good speed hopefully we get up to about 1000 maybe 2000 meters per second if that's impossible for this design I have not tested it out in that aspect it does look very very cool and if you're asking me why I didn't use the other jet and the MK1 fuselage it's because the MK1 has less fuel is more heavy has less impact tolerance than the MK2 fuselage so yup it's better to use this it is the best are we falling no we're going up excellent excellent and what other design do we have after this design we're gonna show off the Russian flying fortress a very very cool design Russians know how to make aircrafts that's for sure well in World War 2 mainly um, but yeah flying fortress really cool in real life I wouldn't say that the design that I made in the game looks that good because it doesn't look that good really uh... yep yeah, 700 meters per second let's point the nose like that let's check our intake flow is very high still which is great well, it's adding I don't know <gasps> are you telling me this goes crazy at the end why oh what a waste kidding me I know what the problem is with this design yeah this this stupid winglet alright so that's this is how high the design reaches uh, I know what the problem is I'm just gonna fix up the winglet I'll change and put another one there but overall it's an alright design once I fix it and you know use it if you like I think I've used up all the electricity no I haven't Oh, there we go. Had to turn on the engine. Next design. <laughs> so this is a Russian Flying Fortress Mark 1. I. I do have a Mark 2 which is the improved version with struts. But this is the design without the struts. And it just looked really funny. This one actually flew the first time I tried it. Let's just hope I can get the same situation like I did last time. So spacebar. If I hold down S from now, I believe these wings on the side will lift up. Yeah. And there we go. It's flying. Who would have thought? <laughs> it really is a crazy looking design. Uh, this really is a Russian flying fortress. Yep, yeah, but yeah, you have to manually control it. If I just have SAS on, that happens. It really does turn into a bird. Fly! Uh. Alright, let me show you Mark 2. The strut version. Yeah, in real life, this design is really, really huge. It's like the biggest, one of the biggest aircrafts. And it does look awesome. So, and SAS doesn't help too much with this design. You actually have to manually keep it upright somewhat. So yeah, and let's do a little turn. A mid-air turn. Flip around if you can. Uh, 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 let's go. No! No! <laughs> That's what I get for pressing random buttons. Keys. Okay, let's just go straight down. That usually fixes it up. Left, left. Although it does have a good lift rating. Mm. That's for sure. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, perfect. So, 
Let's throttle down and land without smashing. Ooh, excellent. So very loose, like, look at that. Very shaky. Yeah, let's throttle down fully. We can glide. Glide our way down. Okay. There's our shadow. Let's turn the brakes on. Let's have S, hold down S while we're doing so. That way this thing doesn't topple over. And done. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This was the last design. And see you next time.